on a windy Tuesday evening here in Buda, Texas. We welcome you to the second half of district play. We welcome you to Tigers baseball on Vipe Live tonight. Your Tigers look to take control of second place in District 26 as they take on their rivals. Out of Johnson High School, the Jaguars. Both teams coming in with records of six and two. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome to Tigers Baseball on Vibe Live tonight. What a battle we have. It's the rematch. Cody Templeton for Johnson taking on Brandon Arverson from the Tigers. This is the final meeting, believe it or not, that these two clubs will have here in District 26, the 5A version. Both teams moving up to 6A next season and will be in the same district. Your Tigers coming off a one nothing victory Friday night in Kerrville against Tybee off of the inside the park home run by Nico Ruedas in a crazy, crazy game down in Kerrville. Jaguars, meanwhile, coming off two consecutive losses. They were leading, and in first place in district play, they are now tied with the Tigers after falling to both Canyon as well as Bernie Champion. As you see, Coach Payne, the umpires, coaches, they're ready to go. Um, we're about to get ready for pregame festivities. Quick note, Tiger of the Week this week, it has to be none other than Nico Reddis. Nico was fantastic last week, including, of course, that game-winning inside the park home run out in Kerrville. Also, another note, three games this week, all in a row, beginning tonight here in Buda, Friday night in New Braunfels against Canyon. That game will start at 7 o'clock right here on Vibe Live. Saturday in Bernie, Texas against Champion. 1 o'clock first pitch. As we are waiting right now for the pregame festivities to begin. The voice of Tiger Stadium, Jeff Goss, is in the building. I just seen him walk up in the stands. So a huge, huge game between these two clubs tonight. Once again, this is the rematch. The two pitchers tonight, Brandon Arvison and Cody Templeton, combined for 30 strikeouts in the first meeting of the season between the two. Jaguars won that game one nothing. We will be lucky to get that same result, same game tonight. Maybe not the same result, but the same game nonetheless. As we are waiting for the signal right now. As we're going to have National Anthem, player introdu introductions, as well as the first pitch coming up. Tigers tonight rearing their road grays drip across the chest. Jaguars wearing the home whites. Jaguars across the chest. And now we'll turn it over to the public address announcer, Hira Johnson, for the pregame festivities. Field, number 14, Theo Howard. 
And playing second base for the Tigers, number six, Jackson Conover. And the rest of the Tigers. Let's meet the starting lineup for your Johnson Jaguars. Leading off and catching number one, Connor Crabtree. <laughs> Batting second and playing right field, number 14, Logan Robinson. <laughs> Batting third and pitching, number 24, Cody Templeton. <laughs> Batting cleanup, the designated hitter, number 17, Caleb Letson. <laughs> Batting fifth, playing shortstop, number eight, Ethan McLean. Yeah. Batting sixth and playing left field, number 15, Ethan McAllister. Yeah. Batting seventh and playing second base, number 12, James Tello. Yeah. Batting eighth and playing first base, number 25, Trace Jansen. Yeah. Batting ninth and playing center field, number 22, Dom Alvarado. Playing third base for the Jags, number nine, Grayson Allred, and the rest of the Jags. At this time, we ask that you please rise, remove your ball caps. We have a very special guest singing the national anthem tonight. Fourth grader from Elm Grove Elementary, please give it up for Layla Gardner. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we walk were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red color the balls bursting in Back when I was a kid, I had some relatives that would say, that girl can sing. She just ripped the national anthem like it was nothing. The two Aidens and Nico will lead off this game for the Tigers. Cody Templeton on the bump tonight for the Jags. Very important game for both teams. Both teams coming in tonight. With a record of six and two. Playoffs almost here. We are halfway through the district schedule. And this time of year, of course, we are getting excited. On my way to the stadium today, temperatures hit triple digits. So it is blazing hot down there. Compared to how everything... Uh, was about a month ago how chilly it was we are going to be in for a treat tonight as we are almost close to the beginning of this ball game tonight as Templeton the left through continues his warm-up pitches AP, AD, 
Nico coming up. And it looks like Templeton is almost ready to go. Coach Payne in his 16th campaign. As Aiden Perry is up now for the Tigers. Seven o'clock on the dot. As AP is waiting for the home plate umpire to get into his position, he is. Templeton looks like he's ready to go. And the play ball as Aiden Perry is in the box to begin this game for the Tigers. And at 7 o'clock, Central Daylight Time, the first pitch. And inside for strike one, 0-1 on AP. Aiden Dennis in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Templeton, who threw 16 Ks against the Tigers, the first game of district play, ahead on the count, 0-1. Aiden Perry pops it and is going to go foul and out of play as it lands in the stands. 0-2 now on AP. What a stretch for the Tigers this week. Tonight here in Jackson in New Braunfels, Friday night against Canyon, Saturday afternoon in Bernie against the Chargers of Champion. Templeton fires the 0-2. Aiden Perry fouls it on the third base side. Count remains 0-2. Rivals in which the stadiums are not that far apart from each other. And Templeton fires the 0 2. Aiden Perry slices the end of center field and it's going to be caught out there by Alvarado for the first out in the top of the first. And here comes Aiden Dennis. AD tonight. Playing out in left field. As Templeton now steps back on the bump. Here comes the first pitch to Aiden Dennis. And AD pops it foul. And out of play for strike one. On one now to Aiden Dennis. Nico Reddis. In the on deck circle for the Tigers. Mason Ashlock in the hole. No balls on the strike now to Aiden Dennis. Scoreless here in the top of the first. Templeton. Ready to go one. He fires. Right down the middle for strike two. 0 oh 2 now on AD. And Dennis. Back in the box, Templeton fires the 0-2. That is outside for ball one. First pitch, that was a ball tonight from Templeton. One and two now to Aiden Dennis. And Templeton fires. AD foul tips in and the count remains. A ball and two strikes. Tigers could essentially move into at least a tie for first place in district play with a win tonight and a win Friday night against Canyon. As Templeton looks like he's ready. AD down in the count of ball and two strikes. No score here in the top of the first. As Templeton. Fires the one-two and swings and misses. And that's the first strikeout tonight for Templeton. Here comes Nico. First at bat tonight. Nico, of course, the hero on Friday night inside the park home run to win the game for the Tigers against Tybee. Here comes 
the first pitch of the at-bat. And Nico awaits. Nico swings and misses for strike one, 0-1 on Redis. Mason Ashlock is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Templeton, ready to see your one, he fires. Nico fouls it out of play, and Nico falls down in the count, 0-2. No balls and two strikes now to Nico. Templeton once again ahead of the count against Tiger hitters. He fires the 0-2. Nico pops it foul and out of play again, and the count remains. No balls and two strikes. Nico now resetting, and he's back in the box. Templeton ready with the 0-2, and he fires it. Nico slices it just past Coach Payne foul, and a count remains, no balls and two strikes. Great battle by Nico. This could be the Largest crowd we've seen on the road all season. This stadium is packed. Once again, a rival game. These two teams will follow each other into 6A play next season. Templeton, ready to see 2 and he fires it. And that is outside. First ball for Nico, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Here comes the one, two. Templeton fires. Nico swings and misses. Second strikeout for Templeton, and that will retire the side. Tigers go down in order. Brandon Arvison and the Tiger defense hit the field in the bottom of the first. No score as we head in that direction. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line, too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. No score here in the bottom of the first. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Brandon Arvison and the Tiger defense are set and ready to go. Let's take a look at the Tiger defense around the horn. Of course, Brandon Arvison on the bump tonight for the Tigers. Behind home plate in his normal position is Matt Schindler. At first base, Mason Ashlock playing second base tonight is going to be Jackson Conover in his normal position. Of course, Nico playing shortstop. And at third base, AP, Aiden Perry. Out in left field tonight is going to be Aiden Dennis playing center field because Brandon is pitching. Theo Howard. And at right tonight, Parker Cook. And leading off for the Jaguars right now is going to be the catcher, Connor Crabtree. As Big B readies for the first pitch. And he fires. And he catches the inside corner for strike one. 0-1 oh now to Crabtree. Logan Robinson is in the on-deck circle for the Jags. 
Big B, Red is the 0 1, and he fires. And that's well outside. A ball in the strike now to Crabtree. Counting Steven at the ball in the strike. Harvison fires the 1-1. One, one. Crabtree pops it up. Underneath it is going to be Jackson Conover, and he catches it for the first out of the bottom of the first. Bright sun out there tonight. And here comes the right fielder in Logan Robinson. Lefty against lefty. As a six foot five, Brandon Narvison fires the first pitch inside corner for a strike, 0 and 1 on Robinson. The opposing pitcher, Cody Templeton, is in the on deck circle for the Jags. Big B ready to 0 1, he fires. And Robinson fouls it out of play, and he's down in the, qu in the count quickly. No balls and two strikes. Robinson back in the box. Arvison shakes off the first pitch. Here comes the 0-2. Outside, a ball and two strikes now to Logan Robinson. No score, bottom of the first. A ball and two strikes now to Logan Robinson. Arvison fires the one two. And that is low and away. Evens up the count. Two balls and two strikes. Brandon Arvison. Ready to two two. He fires it. That's high and the count goes full on Robinson. So quickly, after being up on the count, 0-2, Arvison now with a full count on Robinson. And did he go around? And he did not. So Robinson gets on base at the four consecutive balls by Brandon Arvison. And here comes Cody Templeton. One on, one out here in the bottom of the first. Still scoreless. Pitcher versus pitcher right now as Big B fires the first pitch and Templeton fouls it out of play. 0 and 1 now to Templeton. Caleb lets him in the on deck circle for the Jaguars. Here comes the 0 1. He fires it. Templeton shows bunt, and that's a little wide, a ball and a strike now to Templeton. Packed house tonight at Johnson High School. Here comes the 1-1, and Big B fires it, and he catches him on the inside, a ball and two strikes now to Templeton. Arvison now, ready for the one-two, and he fires. Templeton slices it foul on the third base side, and the count remains. A ball and two strikes. Johnson right now looking to make the playoffs for the first time in its history. They are locked in second place with the Tigers. And Arvison fires. Beautiful pitch. First strikeout of the night for Brandon Arvison. Got Templeton looking. Two gone now here in the bottom of the first. And here it comes Caleb Letson. One on, two outs. And here comes the designated hitter.
as Big B checks back over to first, and he tosses it over there. And Mace just tags Robinson just because. The wind is blowing out tonight. Still a gorgeous night here in Buda. Has led some swings and misses for strike one. 0-1 now on the DH. Ethan McLean is in the on-deck circle for the Jaguars. No score, bottom of the first. 0-1 now to Letsom. Big B fires. Robinson takes off. And did Nico get him? Nico did get him. Matt Schindler and Nico Ruedas, that combination is still on fire. Logan Robinson get caught on second base, and that ends the threat for the Jaguars. No hits, no runs, no errors. We have played one, and we remain scoreless. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Here in the top of the second, back here to Johnson High School. Melvin Jones with you. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. We are scoreless here in the top of the second. We're probably going to have another pitcher's duel. Templeton now ready for the first pitch of the top of the second, and that is outside for ball one, 1-0 one on Mason Ashlock. Templeton now. Ready to 1 0 and Mace calls for time. You don't want it. 1 0 to Mason Ashlock. Templeton fires it. And Mace slices one deep into the center. It's going to the warning track, off for of the wall. And Mason Ashlock is going to stand up with a double. First knock tonight for the Tigers. And now with a runner in scoring position, here it comes Big B. So quickly, the Tigers get the lead off hitter on. As now Ashlock is getting some elbow guards. And up comes Brandon Arvison. Short fence. In left and right field, 315 at both poles. Mace now is taking the lead off a of second. Templeton checks back at second. He fires a big B. And Arvison swings and misses four strike one. And it's 0-1 on Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Runner on second. No outs. Scoreless here in the top of the second. Here comes the 0 1 to Arvison, and Templeton fires it. And that comes off of the catcher's mitt, and the count goes even at a ball and a strike. As Big B now back in the box. Here comes the 1 1 from Templeton, and he fires it. And Brandon Arvison slices it foul out of play. And now he's behind in the count. A ball and two strikes. 
Parker Cook, who has been cooking the last two weeks, is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Ashlock with a huge lead off a of second. Templeton checks back at him. He fires, and Arvison gets it over to second base as Tello throws it over. And Brandon Arvison is retired for the first out here in the second inning. Mason Ashlock events over the third. So with one gone, here it comes. Parker Cook, Mason Ashlock over at third base. Tigers did not score in the first meeting. They looking to break that right now. As Templeton is taking his time. Here's the first pitch to Parker. And Parker swings and misses for strike one. 0 and 1 to Parker Cook. Sammy Sam, Sam Magajanian in the on next circle for the Tigers. One on, one out here in the top of the second. Here's the 0 1 to Cook. And Parker Cook slices one in the left field. And it is caught quickly by McAllister for the second out of this inning. as it wasn't deep enough for Ashlock to take off. Two away now, here it comes, Sam McAjanian. Sam has been clutch. And with Mason right there at third, let's see what he can do with the stick. As Sam now gets back into the box. Templeton is ready now for the first pitch against Sam, and he fires it, and that's outside for ball one. 1-0 one to Sammy Sam. Matty Ice, Matt Schindler in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Coach Payne coming over. He's arguing something. Maybe he thought uh, Sam was hit. As you can hear some of the Jaguar fans. Sam was down in the count, 0-1. Sam fouls it off of the net. And the count goes to no balls, two strikes. Mason Ashlock is 90 feet away. Sam could drive him in with a base hit. Templeton fires the 0-2. Sam fouls it off once again, and the count remains. No balls and two strikes. Oh, and 2 now to Agajanian. And Sam that time called for time. Sam now back in the box. Down in the count, 0-2. Templeton fires it. Sam dribbles it. It's going to be a tough, tough play. But a great play out there at third base by Alvarado. And that retires the side. Tigers leave one on. They do get that double for Mason Ashlock, but that is all. We played an inning and a half. The two Ethans and James Tello all coming up for the Jaguars. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. 
they might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Caleb Lepson leading off for the Jazz is Big B. Fires the first pitch and is outside for a ball, 1-0. Lepson was at bat. Back in the bottom of the first. But Robinson was caught stealing. Here's the 1-0. That catches the outside corner and the count goes even at the ball and the strike to Caleb Lepson. Ethan McLean in the on-deck circle for the Jags. Here's the 1-1 from Big B. And that pitch is well inside and low. 2-1 and one now on Letsum. No score here in the bottom of the second. As Brendan Arvison fires the 2-1. That's outside. Three balls, one strike to Caleb Letsum. So once again, Brandon Arvison behind in the count. Let's see if he throws a strike here. The 3-1. And that is high and lets him. Draws a leadoff walk to begin this second inning. Here is Ethan McClain now with a runner on and no outs here in the bottom of the second. Last time a runner was on, Logan Robinson was thrown out by Matt Schindler as Letson now takes the lead off of first. McLean shows bunt. Ball one to Ethan McLean. Ethan McAllister is in the on-deck circle for the Jaguars. Arvison fires. McLean shows bunt, lays down a nice one as Ashlock tags him for the first out, but it does advance the runner over to second base. One away here in the bottom of the second. Here it comes, Ethan McAllister. McAllister tonight, first time facing Brandon Arvison. As Cato lets him, advances to second. One away here in the bottom of the second. Scoreless. As Arvison fires. And that is low and inside. Great stab by Matt Schindler. 1 0 on McAllister. James Tello in the on next circle for the Jaguars. McAllister ready for the 1 0. Big B looks back at second. He fires the 1 0. And that catches the outside corner to even up the count at a ball and a strike. Looks like we may have a little strange strike zone tonight. But Big B would take that strike. Evens the count up at a ball and a strike. And the 1-1. And McAllister fouls it. And he's behind in the count now. Ball and two strikes. Strikeout by Brandon Arvinson would be fantastic right now. McAllister back in the box. Let's him on second. Here comes the one two from Brandon Arvinson. He fires it and swings and misses. And that's the second strikeout tonight for Brandon Arvinson. Two down here in the bottom of the second. Here's James Tello now, the number seven hitter. For the Jags. Tello's walking up to crisscross. 
And now the first pitch of the at-bat. Tello pops it. It's high. Does Mason Ashlock has it? He does in foul territory. Nice stab. And that would end the threat. A walk, and that is all. And the Jags has been retired. Top of the third coming up. Matty Ice, Theo Howard, top of the order, Aiden Perry, all coming up for the Tigers. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Schindler, Howard, Aiden Perry. All due up here in the top of the third. Scoreless ball game. As this game is exactly what we thought it would be. Just a mirror of the first game. Matty Ice now steps in the box to take on Cody Templeton for the first time. And that pitch it's outside for ball one, 1-0 one on Matt Schindler. Templeton fires. And that is inside corner for strike one. Even as the count up and a ball and a strike. Theo Howard is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Templeton, ready some 1-1, one, one. he fires. And it's popped up, and it is high. Selling foul. And nice catch out there by Jansen for the first out of this third inning. Here it comes, the sensational sophomore himself, Theo Howard, in the nine hole tonight as normal. He comes up with no one on, one out in the top of the third. As Theo steps out of the box. Templeton looks like he's ready to go. And Templeton with the first pitch that's outside for a ball, 1-0 oh now on Theo Howard. Top of the order, and Aiden Perry in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. We are scoreless through two and the third. Templeton fires, and that catches the outside corner, and that was high for a strike. This is going to be a weird strike zone tonight, apparently. Even to count up a ball and a strike. Templeton fires. Same location, same result. Ball and two strikes now to Theo Howard. Templeton so far with two Ks, looking for his third. Theo bounces it right at Jansen. Great play out there at first base for the second out of this inning. And here it comes. AP. We are back now at the top of the order. AP tonight, 0 for 1. Flying out to center, back in the first.
Templeton now. Ready for the first pitch against AP. And Aiden Perry slices it. Foul just past Coach Reynolds on the first base side. 0 and 1. Aiden Dennis is in the on deck circle if Aiden Perry gets on. No score, top of the third. Two outs, no one on. Aiden Perry down in the count. No balls in the strike. As Templeton fires the 0 1. And AP swings and misses for strike two. 0 and 2 now to Aiden Perry. AP now back in the box. The 0 2. Templeton fires. That catches the outside corner. Ball and two strikes now to Aiden Perry. Wind is blowing out here at Johnson. Templeton fires the 1 2. And Aiden Perry just fouls, tips it, and the count remains 1 and 2. These two teams are tied for second place in District 26 with Canyon leading the charge of 7-1. Here comes the 1-2 from Templeton. He fires it. Aiden Perry slices it over the first. Templeton with his third consecutive play here in this inning, and he retires every Tiger batter this inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on. We played two and a half, scoreless. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Jansen, Alvarado, the top of the order, and Crabtree all do up here in the bottom of the third. Welcome back to Johnson High School. Melvin Jones here with you. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. We are scoreless. This is a mirror image of the first game. Both pitchers with two strikeouts. Here's the first pitch from Big B as Jansen fouls it to the backstop 0-1. We are about 38 minutes into this game, already into the bottom of the third. That pitch goes low. Great stoppage there by Schindler. Count goes even at a ball and a strike. As Brandon Arvison fires. And that pitch is outside, two and one now on Trace Jansen. Big B looks like he's ready to go. Jansen is. He's back in the box. Two balls and one strike. Lead off hitter here in the bottom of the third. Jansen pops it. It's high. Underneath it is Jackson Conover for the first out of this third inning. Here's Dom Alvarado now. One out, no one on. Here in the bottom half of the third. Brandon Arvison 
And he fires the first pitch, and Alvarado swings and misses for strike one. 0-1 now to the center fielder. Alvarado looks like he's ready to go. Big B is as well. He's taking his time. Here's the 0-1. That is off the glove of Schindler. A ball and a strike now to Dom Alvarado. Top of the order. And Connor Crabtree is in the on-deck circle for Johnson. A ball and a strike now to Alvarado. Alvarado slices it. And a nice catch out there by Nico Ruedas. Nico doing Nico things. And that is the second out of this third inning. Middle battery of the Tigers. Playing fantastic D. With no one on and two gone in the third inning, the top of the order. And Connor Crabtree comes up as Big B gets a first pitch strike, 0-1. Crabtree tonight, 0-1, for 1, popping out to Jackson Conover in the first. As that pitch is inside for ball one, 1-1 one one now to Crabtree. Harvison raises the 1-1, one one and he fires it. Crabtree. Fouls it to the backside. A ball and two strikes now to the catcher. As the home plate umpire, just want to make sure Matt Schindler is all right. Looks like he may have bounced up and hit him. A ball and two strikes now to Crabtree. Two outs, no one on. Scoreless here in the bottom of the third. Arvison fires the one-two. Crabtree fouls it out of play, and the count remains one and two. Logan Robinson is in the on-deck circle for Johnson. And now Crabtree looks like he's ready to go. Brandon Arvison is. He fires it. That is outside, and he got him looking for the third out of the inning. The Jaguars go down in order, and we remain scoreless here as we go into the fourth inning. You're watching. Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. Redis and Mason Ashlock all do up here in the top of the fort as we welcome you back to Johnson High School, home of the Jaguars. Nothing, nothing in this heated district rival between these two teams. Both teams coming into this game, six and two tied for second place. Only the Canyon Krugers have a better record than these two teams. And here is AD. Aiden Dennis tonight, 0 for 1. Striking out back in the first. And the first pitch, and Aiden Dennis pops it, and it is high. That could be troublesome, and it's going to be dropped right there. And Ada Dennis is just going to walk in to second base. A weird double for AD, and that's the second hit of the night for the Tigers. 
Here comes Neek. Nico tonight, 0 for 1. He did strike out back in the first. As Nico taking his time with Aiden Dennis now out in second base. Templeton steps off of the bag to reset. So Tigers for the second time tonight gets the lead off hitter on. And Nico that time calls timeout. As the umpire is talking to Nico about something. And now Nico back in the box. Templeton now ready for the first pitch against Nico. He fires and Nico shows bunt. He lays down a gorgeous one as it is put out for the first out of this fourth inning. But Aiden Dennis moves over. And here comes Mason Ashlock. Mace tonight, one for one. He also had a double. He led off the second with that double. This time, he has Aiden Dennis 90 feet away. As Templeton. Back on the back. Mace is ready to go. Infield is coming all the way in. Tello now almost near the pitcher's mound. And Mace looks at strike one. And it's 0-1 on the first baseman. Brandon Arvison in the on-next circle for the Tigers. One on, one out. Here in the top of the fourth, Templeton fires and Mace swings and misses, and that's strike two. 0 oh 2 now on Mason Ashlock. Not the strikeout fest so far that we had in the first game, but a duel nonetheless. Templeton readies the 0 2, and he fires it. And Ashlock swings and misses, and that's strikeout number three for Cody Templeton. And the second out of this inning, and here comes big Brandon Arvison. Big B tonight, 0 for 1. He grounded out the second, back in the second. And with two gone, Aiden Dennis is still 90 feet away. Pitcher versus pitcher. As Templeton fires, Brandon Arvison swings and misses, and that was a nasty pitch for strike one. 0 and 1 now on big B. Here it comes, the 0-1. Templeton fires. Brandon Arvison slices it foul out of the stadium. 0-2 now. Tigers with the leadoff hitter on third base for the second time tonight. Let's see if Brandon Arvison can get him across the board. Cody Templeton readies the 0-2. Brandon Arvison slices it. That's foul. The count remains. No balls and two strikes. Sun is starting to set here in Buda, Texas. Lights are coming on. As Brandon Arvison back in the box, facing no balls and two strikes. Templeton fires. And that is high and inside the ball and two strikes now to Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. The one two now from Templeton. That is well outside. And now Brendan Narvison with Deuces Wild. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Aiden Dennis still camping out at third base. No score. Top of the fourth. Templeton ready to two two. And he fires it. Brendan Narvison sails one. 
in the center field. That's gonna that got leg. Holla! Two run home run for Brandon Norvison. And the Tigers lead two nothing. Big B with his third home run of this season. And the Tigers get their first runs against Cody Templeton this season. After 10 innings, as Parker Cook comes up to the plate, Parker tonight. 0 for 1, flying out to left field. Tigers is on the board. Templeton goes wide with that pitch. 1 and 0 to Parker Cook. The ball didn't look as though it was going to go out, but it definitely did. And that pitch is low. Two balls, no strikes now to Parker Cook. Sam Magajanian in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Big blast by Brandon Arvison. He helped his own cause as Parker fouls it to the backstop and it's two and one. <laughs> Templeton now back on the rubber. Two nothing Tigers. Top of the third off a two-run home run from Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook fouls it back, and now Parker Cook is looking at Deuces Wild. Cook now back in the box. Templeton is ready in the 2-2, two -two and he fires. And Parker slices it foul, well out of play, near concessions, and the count remains, two balls and two strikes. A win tonight. Tigers move into solo position in second place in District 26. Templeton ready to 2 2. And he fires it. And that is low. And the count is full. First time Templeton has a full count tonight. And it's against Parker Cook. No one on. Two outs. Tigers lead. 2 0. Parker Cook slices one. That is deep. Is that going to go? That's off the wall, and Parker Cook is going to go, and he has a stand-up double. And now the Tigers, the bats has come alive here in this fourth inning. Here's Sammy Sam. Sam tonight, 0 for 1. He grounded out back in the second. Parker Cook with a double. Third hit this inning for the Tigers. Templeton fires to Sam, and that is strike one. 0-1 on, one on the Agajanian. Parker Cook now with a nice lead off a of second. Templeton fires to 0-1. Sammy swings and misses 0-2 now to Agajania. Sammy gets on. Matt Schindler is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Here comes the 0-2 from Templeton. He fires it, and that is inside for ball. 1-2 now. To Sammy. Templeton likes this pitch. The one two now to Sammy. And he fires it. And that bounces off of the glove of Crabtree. And the count goes even. Two balls and two strikes. Two nothing Tigers here in the top of the fourth. Sam Magajanian facing a 2-2 from Cody Templeton. 
And Sam pops it. That's high. As Robinson grabs it to end the top of the fourth. But as the sun sets, Brandon Alverson blasts a two-run home run to give the Tigers a 2-0 lead. Game halfway in the books here at Johnson High School. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Robinson, Templeton, lets him. Coming up for the Jaguars here in the bottom of the fourth. Two nothing Tigers. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Brandon Arvison helping his own calls with a two run home run in the top half of this inning. And the first pitch goes wide and outside for a ball and it's 1 0 on Logan Robinson. Here it comes the 1 0 from Big B. Catches the inside quarter for a strike, one and one. This umpire's uh, strike call is kind of weird. Did Robinson go around? They didn't. He did not. Two and one on Robinson. Umpire, when he signals strike, looks like he's signaling a strikeout. Here's the two and one from Big B. Right down the middle, and then it happens again. Two balls and two strikes to Logan Robinson. Cody Templeton in the on-deck circle for the Jags. Robinson tonight drew a walk back in the first. And that pitch is well inside. Full count now of Logan Robinson. I see both pitchers tonight again throwing complete games. Arvison fires. That's high. Robinson. So Robinson draws another walk, his second of the night. And now the leadoff hitter is on for the Jags. Here is Cody Templeton. Templeton tonight 0 for 1, striking out back in the first. And now, Big B, Templeton showing bunt, pulls back. That looked as though it was a strike. Call the ball, 1-0. Arvison checks back at first. He fires. Templeton fires it. Foul. And out of play. Count is even now. 1-1. One one. Caleb lets him in the on-deck circle for Johnson. Here it comes, the 1-1 one, one from Brendan Arvison. He fires it. And that is low for ball two. Two and one now on the opposing pitcher. And now Big B fires a 2-1. Templeton hits it high. Hits it high far. Cody Templeton has tied this game up at two. Two run home run by the pitcher, and we are tied. 
This is going to be one of those games, folks. Both pitchers with two run home runs in this ball game, and we are tied. As Brandon Arvison now waits. Here come Kayla Lepson with no outs and no one on after the two-run shot from Cody Templeton. We have a game, folks. That was the first hit of the night for the Jaguars. The stadium just exploded when Templeton hit that home run. As it looks like we're getting more balls back into play. Now it looks like Letsom is ready. Brandon Arvison is ready. The first pitch with the at bat. And a quick timeout. That was late from the umpire. Now lets him back in the box. Arvison readies. He fires. And he catches him for strike one. 0-1 on now on Caleb lets him. Two all here in the bottom of the fourth. After the two-run shot by Cody Templeton. And lets him hits it. Jackson Conover grabs it over to Mason Ashlock for the first out of this inning. First out of this inning, here is Ethan McLean. McLean tonight, 0 for 1, grinding out to Mason Ashlock back in the second. As Ryan Garza comes in, the pitch hit. As we have some changes going on. With Johnson. And Garza hitting in McLean's spot. He's going to take his first hacks against Brandon Arvison. But no one on him. One gone here in the bottom of the fourth. 2-2. Two -two. And Big B fires the first pitch. And that is outside for ball one. Arvison fires. Inside for strike one, one and one. Garza now back in the box. Arvison fires. Garza swings and misses for strike two. One and two now to Ryan Garza. Ethan McLean is in the on deck circle for the Jags. Big B with the one, two. And Garza goes down for Brandon Arvison's. Fourth strikeout tonight. Here's McAllister now. No one on and two outs. McAllister tonight, 0 for 1, strike it out. Back in the second. Brandon Arvison fires. And that pitch goes to the backstop, and he's going to call it a strike. He may have foul tipped it, and it's 0 1 on McAllister. James Tello is in the on-deck circle for Johnson. 2-2 two -two here in the bottom of the fourth. Not only are the pitchers pitching a fantastic game tonight, they both hit two-run home runs as McAllister swings and misses on that one. 0-2 oh, now on the left fielder. Brendan Arvison looking for strikeout number five now. Ahead of the count, no balls and two strikes. And he fires the 0-2, and that one is high for ball one. And now the 1-2, as Big B likes it, he fires. And McAllister 
goes down, and that's strikeout number five for Brandon Narvison. And that retires the side. But Cody Templeton gets the two back with a two-run home run of his own. And we are tied once again as we head to the top of the fifth inning. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Matt Schindler, Theo Howard, top of the order, and Aiden Perry all do up here in the top of the fifth as we welcome you back to Johnson High School. What a game, folks. We are tied 2-2. Melvin Jones here with you. Tigers baseball and Vipe Live. This is how a rival game is supposed to be like. As that pitch catches the outside corner for strike one against Matt Schindler. Templeton now. Taking his time. Here's the 0-1. Matty Ice swings and misses for strike two. 0-2 now on the catcher. Theo Howard is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Templeton fires the 0-2. That's high for ball one. 1-2 one now to Matty Ice. Templeton now looking for strikeout number four, and he fires. And Matty Ice slices it foul in the left field, and the count remains, the ball in two strikes. Three strikeouts for Cody Templeton. Five strikeouts for Brandon Arvison. 2-2, two -two, top of the fifth. This rivalry is going to go on for years and years. They're going to follow each other to 6A, same district next season. And that pitch is high and outside. Count goes even, two balls and two strikes. These two teams are the only team from 5A District 26 this season that's going up to 6A next season. So the rivalry is going to stay the same. The 2-2 two -two now for Templeton. Matty Ice bounces off the pitcher's mound and goes in the center field for a base hit. So Matt Schindler gets on, no outs. And here it comes, Theo Howard expecting a courtesy runner, and it looks like it is going to be Luke Hudson as the courtesy runner for the Tigers. And Luke steps on first base. No one on, with no outs here in the top of the fifth. As Luke now takes Schindler's place. And the umpire is getting the change. That's Luke, Luke Hudson out of first base. As Theo now steps into the batter's box. And we know Luke Hudson has wheels. Luke takes a lead off of first. Here's the first pitch to Theo Howard. And now Theo... Luke Hudson gets picked off. He was not paying attention. And that is the first out of the inning. Luke Hudson was shielded by the first baseman. Didn't see the ball through over. And Luke Hudson gets tagged out for the first time this season. One gone here in the top of the fifth. 
And now Templeton now could calm down. But no one on and one out. Theo Howard bounces it. Jansen grabs it. Two outs. Here he is, the top of the order, and Aiden Perry. AP tonight, 0 for 2. Flying out the center, back in the first, and then bouncing it to first base, back in the third. 2-2 two -two here in the top of the fifth. Two outs, no one on. As Cody Templeton fires the first pitch to AP, and that is outside for strike one. 0-1 now to AP. Templeton now. Ready to the 1 He fires it. Aiden Perry swings and misses. And now AP is a strike away from ending this inning for the Tigers. As Templeton fires the 2 That's outside. A ball and two strikes now to Aiden Perry. AP gets on. Aiden Dennis is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Quick timeout. Coach Payne I'm going to talk to Aiden Perry. As AP now steps back into the box. Down in the count, a ball and two strikes. Here's the one, two from Templeton. And AP slices it, and it's going to bounce right there to Tello. And that is the third out of this inning. A Matt Schindler single goes for nothing. Time to stretch here at Johnson High School. We are tied 2-2 as we head into the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Tigers Baseball on Vipe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Bottom of the third for the Jaguars. James Sello, Trace Jansen, Dom Alvarado do up here in the bottom of the fifth as we welcome you back. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Melvin Jones here with you. What a game, folks, between two teams who are tied for second place in district play as Brandon Arvison with the first pitch goes wide for ball one. It is 1-0 oh, oh now to James Tello. Arvison now fires the 1-0. That is inside that time, 2-0 now on Tello. Brandon Arvison tonight, five strikeouts, one hit, two walks. He's given up that two-run home run to Cody Templeton. And that pitch is well outside, 3-0 now to James Tello. As Tello now. Steps back into the box. Big B. He's ready for the 3-0, and he fires it. And that's right down the middle for strike one. 3-1 and one now on the second baseman. Trace Jansen in the on-deck circle for the Jaguars. And Tello fouls it off, and the count now goes full 
on James Tello. So Brandon Arvison now getting back into the count. Full count. He fires a 3-2. And Tello goes down swinging. And that's strikeout number six for Brandon Arvison. One down here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Jansen. Trace Jansen tonight 0 for 1. Popping out to Jackson Conover back in the third inning. As Jansen now steps into the box. Brandon Arvison fires. And he gets a first pitch strike 0 and 1 on the first baseman. Dom Alvarado in the on deck circle for the Jags. Brandon Arvison fires the 0 1. Swings and hits nothing but air for Jansen. And now he goes down in the count. No balls and two strikes. And it looks like they're going to call a foul tip. Good call up here in the press box. And let's see what the umpire is doing. Maybe getting a new ball to Brendan Arvison. Either way, 0-2 now to Jansen. No balls and two strikes as Jansen now steps back in the box. Big B fires the 0-2. That's high, 1-2 and two now on Trace Jansen. 2-2, two -two, bottom of the fifth. Both pitchers with two run home runs tonight. Brandon Arvison fires the 1-2. Jansen, was he hit? And that was well inside. Evens up the count, two balls and two strikes. It looked for a minute that Jansen was hit. So now, Big B readies the 2-2. Two -two. And he fires it. Jansen pops it up. Underneath it is going to be Parker Cook out there. And that is the second out of this inning. Here's Dom Alvarado. Alvarado tonight, 0 for 1. He got robbed by of a hit by Nico back in the third inning. And with no one on and two outs, stepping up to face Brandon Arvison for the second time tonight. And that pitch is inside for ball one. 1-0 one down to Alvarado. Top of the order and Connor Crabtree. In the on-deck circle for the Jaguars. And that pitch is high and inside. Two balls, no strikes to Alvarado. 2-2. Two -two. You're in the bottom of the fifth. Two outs. 2-0 two to Dom Alvarado. Brandon Arvison. And Alvarado hits it high. And it's going to be underneath it. Drops in for a base hit. Alvarado is thinking three. And now he's caught up. And Nico bounces the ball. He was indecisive. And Alvarado gets a double. Nico was indecisive with that one. And now the Jaguars with a runner on second and two outs. Ricardo Crabtree coming up. Crabtree 0 for 2 tonight. He did strike out in the third inning. Alvarado. Nearly got a little greedy. A try for three. <coughs> and now Crabtree comes on with a runner on second and two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. That's only the second hit tonight for the Jaguars. That's Crabtree now. Steps in the box. Brandon Arvison fires. He catches the outside corner for strike one. 0-1 oh to Connor Crabtree. There has been some questionable calls by the umpires tonight on both sides. I can tell you that from right now. Crabtree 
Did he go around? He did go around. Strike two. And now Crabtree, a strike away from ending this inning for the Jaguars. Crabtree back in the box. Big B readies the 0-2. He fires. Crabtree swings and misses, and that's strikeout number seven for Brandon Arverson. A double by Don Mavarado means nothing. And the end of five, we are tied at two apiece. You are watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Two here in the top of the six. Aiden Dennis, Nico Ruedas, and Mason Ashlock do up for the Tigers. What a game. 2-2. Two -two. Here comes AD now. Aiden Dennis tonight, one for two. He had a double back in the fourth. Face in. Cody Templeton for the third time tonight. As Templeton now readies the first pitch. Aiden Dennis fouls it off of the net for a strike one. 0-1 oh to AD. Both teams tied for second place in district play at 6-2. Only Canyon is better at 7-1. Templeton fires, and that is low for ball one. 1-1 one one now to Aiden Dennis. As Templeton now fires the 1-1, one -one and AD slices it. Nice place out there, and it is off the bag, and Aiden Dennis is on. E5 on the play, but AD gets on. And with one on, here comes Nico. Nico tonight, 0 for 2. You got to believe Nico really wants one. That's Templeton now. Ready for the first pitch on Nico. And he fires it. Nico shows bunt. Nico lays down, and they call foul on Nico. Only one down to Nico. Looks like they may have bounced off to the plate. 0-1 on Nico. Umpiring has been weird tonight, to say the least. Templeton fires. Nico fouls that bunt off, and now 0-2, and Nico won't bunt again. The first bunt looked good from up here. But the umpire called a foul. It may have hit home plate. Couldn't tell from here. Nonetheless, no balls, two strikes now to Nico Ruedas. One on, no outs. Templeton fires. And that is inside for ball one. One and two now to Nico. Nick is itching to get a hit right now. 
Templeton now throws over the first, and AD slides back in. 2 2, top of the six. Aiden Dennis on first base, no outs. And a 1 2 to Nico Redis, and Templeton fires. Nico pops it, and it is high. It's going to stay in fair. Jansen out there first to record the first out of this inning. Here comes Mace now with a runner on first and one out. Mace tonight, one for two. Double back in the second. He did strike out back in the fourth. Templeton now looks over at first. He fires. And that pitch catches the inside corner for strike one. 0 and 1 now on Mace. Brandon Arvison in the on deck circle for the Tigers. As Templeton now. Ready to see on one. He tosses it back to first. And AD slides in there safely. Here's the 0-1 now to Mace. Mace fouls it as he golfed that one. That nearly hit a kid. I see some hands went on the top of someone's head. And now Mace is down in the count. No balls and two strikes. Aiden Dennis with a lead off of first. Templeton fires. And Mace. Hits it, and it's far, and AD has to go back, and that is the second out recorded this inning as Mason Ashlock flied out the center. And with one on the two gone, here comes Brandon Arvison. Big B tonight. One for two. Two-run home run back in the fourth. And now he has a runner on once again. And once again, it's two outs in the inning. Here comes the first pitch for the at-bat. Templeton fires it. Brandon Arvison fouls it to the backstop, 0-1. As Templeton now readies the 0-1. To Brandon Arvison. And Templeton fires. Brandon Arvison foul tips it. And he's down in the count. Down to his final strike. 0 and 2 now to Big B. You know both pitchers are pitching well, but there is absolutely no activity going on in either bullpen. And that's what we have tonight. For the second straight meeting, these two clubs are having a classic. Big B now, back in the box, down in the count, no balls and two strikes. Cody Templeton throws back, and Aiden Dennis gets picked off. And the base running blunders continues for the Tigers, and that will end the inning. An error that got Aiden Dennis on goes for nothing. At the end of five and a half, we remain tied. At two apiece, you're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports. It's so much more than a game. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. To begin this bottom of the sixth inning, we are tied at 2-2. Welcome back to Johnson High School. Melvin Jones here with you. Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. The battle for second place in District 26 as Logan Robinson steps up to face off against Brandon Arvison. And that pitch is low for ball one. Robinson tonight has drawn two walks. And now, Big B fires. And that pitch is high. 2-0 now to Robinson. Robinson, the only Jaguar who has been on base twice tonight. Big B fires. And that is high. Three balls and no strikes on Logan Robinson. So Logan Robinson, a pitch away for walking for the third time tonight. Arvison fires the 3-0, and that is high. And for the third time tonight, Logan Robinson draws a walk. And now Cody Templeton comes up. That is the fourth walk tonight for Brandon Arvison. Three of them against Logan Robinson. Now Coach Reynolds out there talking to a star pitcher, calm him down. Jags getting the leadoff hitter on for the third time tonight. Here comes Cody Templeton. Templeton tonight, one for two, struck out in the first. Game tying two run home run back in the fourth. That's where we stand right now. Tied to two. As the umpire dusting off home plate. And now Templeton steps in the batter's box. Runner on first. No outs here in the bottom of the six. Templeton shows bunt. And that pitch is inside for ball one. And it's 1-0 and oh on Cody Templeton. Robinson now taking the lead off of first. Brandon Robinson fires. And that pitch is outside in the corner. 1-1 one one now on Cody Templeton. Aiden Perry ran quickly to try to field the ball just in case Templeton made contact. Templeton, he made contact that time, and he fouls it off one and two. Templeton won't try bunting again. So now the opposing pitcher down in the count, a ball and two strikes to Brandon Arvison. Big B looking for strikeout number eight. And now Arvison looks back at first. He fires. That pitch is away. Count goes even. Two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. No outs. Runner at first. Brandon Arvison fires. And that is well outside. And now it's a full count on Cody Templeton. Caleb lets him in the on-deck circle for the Jaguars. 2-2 two -two here in the bottom of the sixth. Templeton back in the box. Brandon Arvison is ready. He fires, and Templeton hits it. Jackson Conover can't grasp it, and now off of the error from Jackson Conover, 
The first two hitters for the Jaguars are on. E4, and now the Jaguars with runners at first and second and no outs. With Caleb Letson coming up. Letson 0 for 1. He walked back in the second, grounded out, back in the fourth. As there is a courtesy runner coming in for the Jaguars, that is number three, Weston Bailey. So Bailey, the courtesy runner now. Jags with two on, no outs. Here in the bottom half of the six. Brandon Arvison needs a strikeout. As the umpire now making the changes. Bailey at first. Robinson at second. No outs. Let's him up to the dish. Now Brandon Arvison is in real trouble for the first time tonight. Let's him show and bunt. And that goes foul for strike one. 0 and 1 now on Caleb Let's him. As he fouls it. Big B needs a strikeout. He's ahead on the count right now, 0-1. No outs, two on, 2-2 two -two ball game. Lessum shows bunt again. Nice pitch by Brandon Arvison. And now Lessum down in the count, 0-2. Lessum won't try bunting this time. Here comes the 0-2 from Brandon Arvison. That was close. The way the umpire has been calling this game tonight, I was waiting for him to give that to Brendan Arvison. That is ball one, one and two now on Letsum. Big B now. Ready, the one, two. That is high, and the count is even two balls and two strikes. Ryan Garza is in the on-deck circle for Johnson. Count is even, 2-2. Two, two. We're tied, 2-2. Two, two. Here in the bottom of the six. Arvison fires. Did he miss? He did. And now the count is full on Caleb Letsum. Brandon Arvison cannot load the bases right now. And now Big B back on the bump. Three balls and two strikes. He fires. Let's him. Hits it. Jackson Conover misses it again. And that's another error. And now the Jaguars takes the lead. The ball bounced off of the glove of Jackson Conover. And a second error for Conover leads to the go-ahead run here in the bottom of the six. Runners now at the corners for the Jags. Still no outs. Jackson Conover with two errors that he normally does not make. First two errors tonight for either ball club. Aiden Perry now going out to talk to Brandon Arvison. Cole Garcia. Is now the courtesy runner out there for Johnson. Johnson with a 3-2 lead here in the bottom of the sixth. There is some activity right now in the Tiger bullpen. Cody Daniels is throwing. I can't tell who the right-hander is, but Cody Daniels is throwing for the Tigers. Ryan Garza coming up to face Brandon Arvison. Garza 0 for 1, striking out back in the fourth. A walk and two errors this inning for Brandon Arvison. There's still no outs and runners at the corners. Brandon Arvison goes wide that time. 1 0 now on Garza.
3-2 Johnson now. Bottom of the sixth. Arvison fires. Garza shows butt. And goes foul. Evens up the count. Ball and He did call a ball. 2-0 now to Garza. Jags with the go-ahead run coming across the board here in his inning. Arvison fires. And he gets the strike called, and it's 2-1 now on Garza. And now Big B. Down in the count, two balls and a strike. He fires. That is high. It is three balls and a strike now on Garza. Brandon Arvison has pitched outstanding tonight. This sixth inning may come back and haunt him. Jackson Conover with two errors he never makes. Jags would have run already across the board. There is still no outs here in this sixth inning. They have runners at the corners. That pitch is inside, and now the bases are loaded. Ethan McAllister coming up. And now let's see what Coach Payne is going to do. And it looks like we are going to have Let's see, I'm not for sure. Coach Reynolds is heading now to the mound. As now, Aiden Dennis coming out of the ball game. We're gonna have some switches. Aiden Dennis out of the ball game. As Parker Cook is gonna swing over the left. Theo Howard is going to swing over to the right. Brandon Arvison is going out the center. And cannot tell exactly who's coming up for the Tigers. We do have a pitching change. As Riley Mahoney is coming in to pitch for Brandon Arvison. Bases loaded, no outs. We'll let Rylan take his warm-up pitches. 3-2, Jags, no outs here in the bottom of the six. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Ethan McAllister. Coming up for the Jaguars, Riley Mahoney in the pitch for the Tigers. 15 against 15 as McAllister steps up. Here's the first pitch from Ryland. Jag still with no outs in his inning, and that's well wide, 1-0 now on McAllister. McAllister tonight 0 for 2, two strikeouts. And 
Now Ryland ready to the 1-0. And that's outside strike one. One and one now to Ethan McAllister. Ryland steps out to reset. Here's the 1-1 from Ryland. And that is in the dirt. Two and one now on McAllister. Johnson leads 3-2. Bases loaded. No outs. Bottom of the six. As McAllister swings and misses and evens the count up. Two balls and two strikes. Mahoney now readies the 2-2, two -two and he fires. And that's end of the dirt, full count now on Ethan McAllister. James Tello is in the on-deck circle for the Jags. Ryland with the 3-2, and he walks in another run, and the Jags now lead 4-2. Tigers unraveling here in this sixth inning. Still no outs. Still bases loaded. With James Tello up to the dish. Tello tonight. 0 for 1. 0 for 2. Striking out. Last inning. Tello fouls it out of play for strike one. Tigers with Brendan Arvison, Parker Cook, Sam Magajanian coming up in the top of the seventh. Ryland goes wide, count is even at a ball and a strike. Mahoney with the 1-1. One -one. Tello swings and misses for strike two. One and two now to the second baseman. Trace Jansen in the on next circle for Johnson. Here is the one two from Mahoney. And that gets behind Matt Schindler. Matias gets him and got him. Matt Schindler with another outstanding play. And that's the first out of the inning. And boy, did the Tigers need that. Runners now at second and third, and a 2 2 count on James Tello. Great play by Matty Ice. Two balls and two strikes now to Tello. A strikeout will be fantastic for Ryland. And now Ryland ready to 2 2. And he fires. Tello fouls it out of play, and the count remains two balls and two strikes. 4 2 Johnson. They have runners at second and third, only one out. Brandon Arvison is responsible for the runner at third. Ryland Mahoney fires a 2-2. Tello pops it high. AP is underneath it. Second out of the inning. Here is Trace Jansen now. Jansen tonight is 0 for 2. Tigers now hoping to limit the damage here in this inning. Jaguar still with runners on second and third. Two gone now in the bottom of the sixth. And now Ryland readies the first pitch, and he fires. 
And Nets catches the outside corner. This has been a weird strike zone tonight. Nonetheless, 0-1 now on Jansen. Mahoney fires. Trace Jansen fouls it and falls behind the count, 0-2. Long sixth inning for the Jags. They got two across the board. They lead 4-2. Mahoney now ready to go two, and he fires it. And it's popped up. Theo Howard running to grab it. And he misses it. Both runners come on. Jansen going to third. 6-2 Jags now. Theo missed it in the lights. It's going to go down as a triple for Jansen. They're going to call it E9. Jansen at third. Theo Howard missed it in the lights. As Dom Alvarado comes up with a runner at third, two outs. Theo missed that ball in the lights. And Theo's going to be charged with that error. Three errors in this inning. The Jaguars have absolutely no hits in this inning. And they got four across the board. <laughs> Matt Schindler now talking to Marlon Mahoney. This is a very clean game up until this point. Alvarado now, one for two. He had a double last inning. And now Mahoney fires. Alvarado swings and misses for strike one. 0-1 oh to the center fielder. The top of the order, and Connor Crabtree is in the on-deck circle if Alvarado gets on. That pitch goes wide, evens up the count. At the ball and the strike. Tigers will be down to their final three outs. Ryland fires. That's wide again. Two balls and a strike to Alvarado. Four runs this inning for Johnson. Mahoney fires. That's wide and three and one now on Dom Alvarado. Ryland now readies the three one and he fires and that hit Alvarado. They have runners at the corners, two outs, and the ninth hitter in this inning in Connor Crabtree is up to the dish. Johnson with no hits this inning, three errors by the Tigers. Three errors, two walks, and a hit batsman. That's how the Jaguars have four across the board in this sixth inning. Now Mahoney fires, and he gets the first pitch strike. 0-1 now on Crabtree. As Ryland now fires, and that's low for ball one. One and one now to Connor Crabtree. Oh, 
Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And did Crabtree go around? He did not. 2-1 now to the catcher. And Mahoney fires. Crabtree, he did that time. And the count is even, two balls and two strikes. Ryland now a strike away from getting out of this inning. Ryland ready to 2-2. Two -two. Runners at the corners. And that is wide. Full count now on Crabtree. Logan Robinson is in the on-deck circle for the Jags. Full count, runners at the corners, two outs. Jags lead six to two, bottom of the six. Ryland fires, and it goes up the middle. Nico gets the put out at first to finally end the inning. The Jaguars with four across the board. Four errors in this inning by the Tigers. Brandon Arvison, Parker Cook, and Sam Magajanian represents the final three outs for the Tigers as we head to the top of the seven. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom. The loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Batsman, no hits in that bottom of the sixth. And the Jaguars got four across the board. And now they lead 6-2. Welcome back to Johnson High School. Melvin Jones here with you. Brandon Arvison, Parker Cook, Sam McAjanian. The last hope for the Tigers. Tigers, we know when their bats come alive, they can be deadly. They need that rally right now. Brandon Arvidsson now, hoping to get on base. He does have a two-run home run tonight and a big swing and miss to begin this top of the seven for Big B, strike one. Tigers continues to be on the road. They will be in New Braunfels Friday night against the Cougars of Canyon. And now Templeton with strike two, 0-2 oh now on Big B. Let's see if Arvison can get on for the Tigers. And that is outside. As Crabtree set up on the outside. One and two now to Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook in the on deck circle. Tigers trail six to two. Big B swings and misses and strikes out for the first out in his inning. That is only the fourth strikeout for Cody Templeton tonight. First out of the inning, here is Parker Cook. Parker tonight, 
One for two. He did have a double back in the fourth. Templeton fires. Parker swings and misses for strike one. And it's 0-1 now on Parker Cook. Sam McAjanian in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Templeton fires the 0-1. Parker slices it. Nice stab at the third. And Parker gets put out as Trace Jensen with another great play at first. Two away, and now Sam McAjanian, the final hope for the Tigers. Sammy tonight, 0 for 2. He has two outs, no one on. The score holds up. Tigers will fall to 6 and 3 as that pitch is high for ball one. Meanwhile, the Jags will improve to 7-2 and two if the score holds up. Templeton, that's why 2-0 and oh now on Sammy. Templeton with the 2-0. And that's high, three balls, no strikes. For five and a half innings, this was a fantastic pitcher's duel. Templeton now, 3-0 on Sammy. And he gets a strike there at 3-1. Tigers gave up no hits last inning. But a lot of errors and walks led to four Jaguar runs. Sammy fouls it out, and that account is full. Tigers now to their final strike. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. 6-2, Johnson with the lead. No one on. Templeton with the 3-2. Sammy fouls it out, and Agajanian continues to battle. And the count remains full. And now here's Templeton now. With the 3 2. Sammy fouls it off once again. Great battle between these two. A lot of these players know each other. That's how close these two teams are in proximity. This is their final meeting of the season, unless they meet in the playoffs. Templeton fires. Sammy swings, strikes out. Ball game. And the Jaguars have swept. The Tigers. Final score tonight, 6-2. to two. We'll take a break, give you the final numbers when we come back. Jaguars win 6-2 to two to sweep the season series. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally, a game winning shot, a photo finish. Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Not exactly how we wanted to begin the second half of district play. Tigers lose tonight 6-2 to 
to the rival Jaguars in District 26 play. Tigers swept the Jaguars last year, and this year they switched. The Jaguars sweeping the Tigers. Final numbers. Tigers, two runs off of five hits, four errors. Jaguars, six runs, two hits, no errors. It was a fantastic game for a while, and the errors just undid the Tigers tonight. The team's final meeting as 5A opponents. Both clubs go to 6A next season, same district. Tigers drop to 6-3 and three in district play. Meanwhile, the Jags improve to 7-2. and two. In sole second place, right behind the Cougars of Canyon. Speaking of the Cougars of Canyon, that is our next stop Friday night in New Braunfels. First place, Canyon Cougars, as the Tigers look to rebound from this heartbreaking loss tonight in New Braunfels. Coverage will begin 6.50 with pregame. 7 o'clock, first pitch right here on Vibe Live. Thanks to Daniel, my QA, for the night. Thanks to everyone with our Vibe family for bringing this to you tonight. For everyone with Vibe, with Tiger Baseball, I am Melvin Jones saying good night from Johnson High School. Final score, Jaguars win 6-2. You have been watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. We will talk to you Friday night from New Braunfels. Good night, everyone.